Hi everybody, in this video we're going to continue our series on Energy XT. This time we're going to look in depth at the built-in synthesizer, which is also a sampler in Energy XT. Let's check it out. So here we are again in a blank project starting from scratch. And the quickest way to get the built-in synthesizer in here is to just right click in this gray area next to the browser and choose synthesizer. This will load in the built-in synthesizer, which is, it looks basic on the surface, but it's super, super powerful. What we have in here is a selection of presets and I can start playing them on my MIDI keyboard. Just like that. And I can just click on the name to change the preset. I'm going to show my mixture strip and my object bar as I always do so that if I need to change my volume or add some kind of effect or something to this channel, I can do that on the fly. But we're focusing on the synthesizer. All right, so we've got a selection of presets. This is great if we want an old piano. I guess this is a close. Sounds like an electric uh, Rhodes sort of. Maybe some strings. Now the real power of this synthesizer is how easy it is to edit it and make it your own. So in the master section, this basically just allows us to change our synth effects. So the synthesizer has effects that you can bake into it, reverb and delay. We also have access to that in our main window here. The next tab is edit, and this is really where you can tweak the sound. So on this pad sound, we can change the modulator. We can change the shape of the oscillator. We can add or take away some detuning. We can change the phase of the modulator. We can add ring modulation. We can change the width of the detuning. We also have full control over the amp and filter envelopes. So if we wanted this to fade in and give it a, a long attack, we can just push up our attack here. And there's a lot of things that we can change in here as well as volume, whether this is a poly or mono synth. Pan. Uh, course, which is the pitch. So we can pitch things in here as well. Fine, which is changing things by sense. We have a filter with a cutoff. We have glide. So 
So if I really up this glide, you can hear what it's doing. It'll glide from one note to the next. Under mod, we have our LFO and envelopes, and we can assign all kinds of stuff to different things. Now we'll get into this more in depth, I'm sure later. So here's a brief tour of uh, the synthesizer. But what we do have is four LFOs that can be synced. They can uh, have different waveforms and how they're triggered, whether it's free run, poly or mono, the rate, uh, the delay, and we also have four envelopes in here and we can assign those to different things and give them the different levels really really powerful stuff then under effects this is where uh, you can turn off and on different effects like reverb delay phaser and chorus now this is built into every synthesizer you use in energy xt so what's great about this is it's not taking up another slot in your insert or send effect just to have a chorus reverb delay or phaser in your sound So you can really add a lot of sonic character to this sound and change it and manipulate it and make it your own. Under MIDI, this will be things like that you can assign for like pitch bend or glide or uh, modulation to different controls on your uh, MIDI keyboard and change where they're being sent to and how they're being affected. Zones, this is basically where you can use this also as a sampler. So I could pull in a sample in here, actually, and maybe let's just grab a base wave. And I'm going to delete the, the, the default synth, which is, which is just a wave generator. So I'll delete that. And now I'm using this as a sampler. The sample that I've just loaded in has become my oscillator. <laughs> And I can play this across the keyboard. I can go back to my bit section now and you can see this has changed from all of those other controls, modulation and oscillator to the waveform. sample across the keyboard. I could add in a whole bunch of different zones and use this as a multi-sampler. So if I wanted to multi-sample a um, upright piano or a grand piano or a guitar or anything or a vocal effect, I can drag and drop any sample in here and it maps to the keyboard. I can change what the root key is or the original key here. I can also put each individual sample into a different group. So if I wanted to make this truly mono, I can just say this is in group one and there's nothing else in group one. So it will only play one note at a time that way. Otherwise, I can play chords with a sample. So that's under zones. If you have multiple samples or even generators, whether they're synthesizers or samplers being used as your oscillators, clicking this edit all will change how those are affected. So in your edit section, if you want to edit all of the sound sources in this synthesizer, say uh, all of the attacks for every source, you can click on edit all and now all of your changes, whether it's cutoff, volume, filters, envelopes will apply across the board to every sound source that's being used in the synthesizer. So the synthesizer is also your sampler inside of Energy XT. And that makes this thing super powerful. It's incredible. Um, I really like to use this as sort of my default sound engine for making things. So I'll create a sound, render it as audio, pull it in from my browser into the synthesizer, and now I'm using it as a sampler to play things on the keyboard. Let me just show you some of the presets that I've made doing exactly that. And this is really where I find the power of this 
built-in synthesizer. Here's a pluck synth that I created. Again, with the sample, if I go to zones, we can see it's using a sync base dot wave. If I go to edit, I can see the file. We also can change the loop mode on this. So it's looping forward. Every time it gets to the end, it will go back to this loop point. Which means I can essentially play it forever. And I've given it a high pass filter with some cutoff and a glide of 60 milliseconds. So this is a completely unique sound that I've created as my own preset. I can modify it from there by adding new insert or send effects to this thing. It's just really, really cool. Here is a multi sample and you can see the real power of this. So each of these sound sources is sampling it or is pulling from a different wave file. to create this really rich brass section. With a little reverb on this, it will sound fantastic. And in the edit section here, this is where this sound source selector becomes useful. So each individual sample here, I can flip through them and change the start and end points, the panning, the volume, the envelopes, the filter for each individual sound source that's in here. So here's a multi sampled instrument just using the built in synthesizer in Energy XT. For me, this really is like a sonic uh, playground. It, it's where you can do a lot of sound design and by pulling in your own source files into this thing. Now you can also just play with the synthesizer itself like you saw me doing before. So there's no wave files being referenced here. It's just being generated by oscillators. And I think this really is a unique approach to synthesis. Just so much power and so much fun. So that's the built-in sampler slash synthesizer in Energy XT. It's got a ton of power, a lot of things that you can do with it, even though it's it looks really simple on the surface. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.